Well, hello. I'm joined now by uh, two visiting surgeons who are taking part in the AMI conference this year. Dr. Sachdeva is the director of the Division of Educators in the American College of Surgeons. And Mr. Craig McElhenney is the director of the Faculty of Surgical Trainers in the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh. So pleased to welcome you to AMI this time. We're looking forward to uh, hearing why it is you've brought this surgical track um, Satch, if I can ask you, why we've got this surgical track, this surgical part of Amy this year? Uh, first of all, I want to um, thank the organizing committee um, for this vision to create the surgery track. And I'm delighted to be here and delighted to be part of the steering committee for the surgery track. Uh, there has been a real need for focus on surgical education and having attended uh, several previous uh, AME meetings, it was very clear that we needed a separate track for surgery to focus on the procedural elements of surgery, the teamwork, the patient safety elements, and a whole lot of important uh, trends in surgical education that are shaping uh, surgery and patient care in a very big way. So it's a very exciting first for the AME uh, group, and we're delighted to be here. Thank you. Talking about uh, simulation and how important that is, Craig, in the uh, training of surgeons, my recollections of surgery, surgical training and simulation as an orthopaedic surgeon was plastic bones. Yes. Uh, I guess things have moved on a bit since then. They have moved on a little bit, and we now know that simulation is probably one of the most powerful tools that we can use to train our future generation of surgeons. As Satch mentioned, we can teach these technical skills with the plastic bones you talked about, but we can also teach the teamwork and interprofessional skills that mm. we can use. Mm -hmm. The problem though is, at the moment, we know that we don't use simulation enough. We know that most of our trainees do not have access to high fidelity simulation mm -hmm. centers, mm -hmm. and even the basic psychomotor skills that we can be training using simulation, we're not doing it due to lack of access and also lack mm -hmm. of faculty trained in simulation. Mm -hmm. So what we need to be able to do within tracks like this is take all the academic material in simulation and turn that into things that can be used on the ground by all the trainers and trainees that we are training. And I think that you think you made the point that this is something which can be used for the whole team can be training mm -hmm. in working together, not just the technical skills of, of the surgeon. This obviously has a bearing on patient outcome, doesn't it, on patient welfare as such? It does, and um, it is so important for us to validate the skills of surgeons after they've gone through structured training in a competency-based paradigm, and then to look at the technical and non-technical skills of the surgeons, and then look at the whole team, and then the systems of care. And all that can be addressed through surgical education in a very innovative way, and as Craig has mentioned, simulation has really changed the field dramatically. What is also important is that during a lifetime of practice as surgeons, 20, 30, 40, sometimes 50 years of practice, procedures change, technology changes, and we do need to keep up. So that space is really a sweet spot where we can make a huge difference. And then working backwards, we need to focus on residency training and then medical student training as well. So there's a whole continuum and yeah. all that can be addressed and mm. all this can impact patient safety in a very positive way. As I remember in my professional life how much I had to train in new skills as new types of prostheses came along and obviously faculty development is, a, is an angle of this, isn't it? Absolutely, and I think that faculty development is absolutely key to all innovations and developments in education and training. At conferences such as this we discuss very exciting invigorating innovations in surgical education and training or education and training across the gamut of medicine but without faculty development there's no one to put these innovative ideas into practice mm. and we know there's a huge variation in the quality of trainers and training out mm. there and one of my personal goals is to homogenize and harmonize that so that we have mm. a very highly trained cadre of trainers who can then put this into practice. Yeah, that sounds very, very useful. And I see there's been a great uptake. I mean, for the first time that we've had this track in the AMI conference, and I, I've been prompted that there are 147 abstracts were submitted, and of course you've been, they've been uh, uh, selected for the different sections, uh, pre-conference workshops, the symposia, the short communication skills, and posters. 
and then on Tuesday we're having a round table sort of event. What, what will happen at that? On Tuesday at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we will have a wrap up session mm -hmm. where we will summarize what has happened on Monday and Tuesday, of course, starting with the pre meeting workshops on Sunday and um, what will happen on mm -hmm. Wednesday. And that will be a wrap up session. Mm -hmm. Our big anchor is the symposium on Monday afternoon that's going to focus on surgical mm -hmm. skills acquisition mm -hmm. and maintenance. And that, of course, is the event which will be broadcast live and the AMI Live on, online for uh, uh, different people around the world who can't uh, manage to come uh, to Basel at the same time as we can. So it's a, a very great package, I think, that you've put together. I'm very excited about it. And uh, I hope it's a great success from your point of view as well. We'll be interested to hear your thoughts at the end. Mm. You know, will we have it again next year or should we suggest another team of people bring a parallel track as well? Sash, Craig, thank you very much for uh, talking to us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, John.